Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick video on how to do this Hello World project. I wanted to do this because this, if you look down here, this actually doesn't work. Which is kind of surprising, right? Because Hello World is like the most basic thing of all time. And they even have the Hello World here for Unreal, for the blueprints. But it, this doesn't work. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how it should go. So we're just going to go to games and we're just going to create, we don't need starter content. And I'm just going to type in hello world one and go create. And this takes a, just a minute to do. It was kind of funny because as I was following the hello world example, I was like, <laughs> like, it wasn't working. I'm like, what the hell? So anyway, we're in blank project here and I'm just going to go right click and I'm going to go to blueprint class all classes and we're going to look for our text render actor this right here and we'll go select and i'm just going to call this bp whoops bp underscore hw and this is a, a blueprint actor so but it's already kind of made for us so then i just double click on this and this will take us into the blueprint and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dock it up here for convenience and then what I'll do is I'm just going to select on the text renderer. And if I want to change the color of the lettering, like here it's white. But let's say I just want to make it red. I can adjust that right there. And then I got to just come over to the event graph. Make sure I'm on the text render component. Because if it's selected, then it creates an automatic reference to it. So if I right click, then it's gonna it's ready to call that function which is what i want to i want to call that class or so anyway what i'm looking for is something called set text and there it is right there and when i get it it's already wired up and now all we want is this to begin hello world to begin an event play as soon as we start up so well, i got all this stuff in the way here i just dragged this into there now, just to show you that it doesn't work, you hit compile and save and you get an error. And the way this is hooked up is exactly the way it's is here. See, it's exactly the same, but it doesn't see it, does, it doesn't work. So that's what made me want to do this. But fortunately, the fix for this is very easy because if we read the error, it just says the current value needs something wired into it by reference. And we're already referencing the text thing but it needs a value, it needs a value. So we're gonna right click on this and promote it to a variable. And the variable doesn't show until it's compiled. So there's no default I can enter, I just have to compile it first and save it. And now I have a value I can enter over here. And I can just put whatever I wanna pin it. Hello, crazy world. And you can type anything you want in there. And we go save and compile it again. I come in here. And all I have to do is drag my blueprint class onto the scene and it will make an instance of my class. So then all I have to do is hit play and there's hello world. I don't know, it's kind of on the, there it is. Hello crazy world. And that's all you gotta do to do hello world. So I just wanted to do this quick update video if in case you're wondering why Hello World doesn't seem to work. Anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.